I'm usually better about that. Diorite. What else can we put here? Let's see. We're going to put iron and stuff there later. I want to make sure I keep those clean. You guys are rocking out. I think the line's over here. Oops. Ha! I went too far. Oops. That's why I like a mod called Tinker's Construct. If a tool breaks, it breaks like an elytra, meaning it just needs XP. Yeah, someone was talking about that earlier that they wanted that, but I think the breaking of the tools is... It adds a lot to the game. Waiter? I don't think I want that as a bot name. I don't I don't think I would allow that core. I would refund you. That's too gross. It doesn't mean anything bad. I'm pretty sure it means something gross though. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want that. I won't, I won't allow that. I'll refund you. Pick something else. It's a pig. Kill the pig. He's trying to steal information. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. stack of granite. We're just going to keep on going. We're grabbing andesite, granite, diorite, things like that. We're not grabbing any stone. We don't need the stone right now. We've got plenty. We've only gone one quarter of one quadrant. <laughs> we have more stone than we ever needed. But no, my luck, I'll use it all and be like, damn, I wish I'd save some more. Yeah, but poor, yeah, no, I'm good. There's some interesting words out there, my friend. That's definitely one of them. Oh, it's a thing, but I don't want to do it. I'd rather just do this, Dread.
And besides, even if I I I I don't I don't want to fly around a flying machine dropping TNT. I don't feel like that's an intended game mechanic. I feel like it's a bug they just haven't solved yet. I couldn't even imagine how squirrely all the red redstone coating is in this game. And when they're trying to figure out what part of that redstone hiccups to make the TNT do, you know, it's going to be something hard to find. Good night, Core. Well, I mean, I made a farm one time in creative using duping TNT. It just didn't feel right, dude. I felt dirty the entire time I was using it. Like, I would much rather build the same farm and go mine an entire desert or clear out an entire desert just to make all the TNT needed for the build before I tried to dupe it. But there are so many builds on the internet that revolve around the requirement to dupe TNT that when it finally gets patched out, all that stuff's going to be useless. So the nether ceiling, I mean, I'm not going to do it. I don't think that's as bad because they make it to where you can't get up there. But you kind of have to like, you have to like frame perfect, throw an ender pearl or like shove yourself up there with a piston. And if you're willing to go through all that work to do that, then more power to you. But it's not as easy. I don't think that's anything that can be fixed because that's that's like going out of bounds. That's like speedrun tactics. That's always going to exist in a video game. I think I think what they could do to stop that altogether is just limit the Nether to 128 blocks height. Then you won't be able to use the roof at all. You can go up there, but if you try to build something, you get the same warning message you get here at 256. Sorry, you've reached the build height. The fact that the nether is like a compressed version of the overworld is the reason why above the roof is so easy to get to and, and so easily exploitable. But if they could just set that as a limit, then no one would be able to do anything up there. Give them, give them like five blocks. That way they can build like a an ice boat or something. But don't put whole farms up there. That doesn't make any sense to me. Especially in hardcore Dreadvink, in my opinion, if you if you find a way around the game to eliminate all the threats, are you still playing hardcore anymore? You're just playing a fancy version of creative. And if that's how you want to play, then that's awesome. But that's not how I want to play. Because it's a single player game at the end of the day. Well, yeah, and, 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 they, and they can do that, Mew, but I think the fact that they haven't done it is just because, just like any other video game, that there are video games that have an outer bounds they get access all the time for, like, speedrunning and stuff. They, they're just going to allow it because it's easier just to let it go than to try to patch it up. The only bad thing it does, Dreadvink... Having all those, having the TNT duping and the roof and everything else, it just makes people lazy. Like I, I had a, I had a server 
that people in the community could join once upon a time. And when I told them, my, my two rules were um, no holes in the nether. And um, don't build a bunch of duplicate farms. Like if you want an iron farm, if we already have one set up, just use ours. There's no reason to have like your own personal iron farm. And people didn't like those rules because they wanted to be able to go up and down the nether whenever they pleased and stuff. And it, it people were people were getting angry at me because of the rules I set for the server. And don't wipe out villages. Yeah, I wanted to keep the villages as. I mean, you can add to them, but people were like going in there and wiping all the people out and stuff, taking all their beds, leaving all, to breaking down all their doors. And it was, I, I felt like that was really rude. Don't take all the wart. Or or if you take all the wart, grow it somewhere that's community accessible. Because we had we had plots. So you can make your own plot and stuff, but don't hide it behind a plot, you know? Make it community accessible. But yes, I agree with you there, Dread. Have a little tunnel. A little dark area. That everybody can get into that has like a little switch to open the door and have a bunch of wart in there and just say here here's your nether wart have a little chest with some boat meal next to it here here's some boat meal if you want to make them grow faster if you're impatient But I had some kid dread vink. Some kid joined the server, went to a village, took all their beds, and went and speed ran the dragon. Just so he could be the first person to kill it on our server. And I was like, I... And then he went into the end and stole all the elytras and was trying to sell them. Selling elytras, 10 diamonds each. It's like, come on. This isn't what I want in my server. Go away. People were setting up shops. Selling things. I got saplings. You want some saplings? Just give me five iron. It's like, come on, dude. Just help somebody out. I'll give you iron. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. This isn't like Rust, where you have to like worry about when you're going to be able to eat next. Just, just play the game. Alright, so all those are full. Done. So we'll do that. If you want to make another server, you could disable the ability to get into the end until a certain time. At least that's my understand. I'm not entirely sure how it worked. Okay. Thanks for absolutely nothing helpful at all just then, Mew. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think you can do this, but I'm not sure. Noted. Not sure. Mew, you're fine. I'm giving you a hard time, bud. Next time, next time, you, when you have an idea like that, find out if you can or you can't. It would either save you time typing or you could be like, hey, this is how you can do it. I'll send you a DM. But I don't know. I, I, I really don't want to restrict things like that. I just, I just thought my community would have been a little better about stuff. <laughs> Mew. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, maybe I'll look into something like that. Because, like, a community server is not meant to be, like, where you practice your speed running, you know? Or, or where you go hoard all the elytras and then sell them for 10 diamonds apiece. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's an alchemy server. Oh, good for her. Red? What is that? Oh, tugboat. I didn't know what that was at first. It looked like a little bean sprout or something. I was confused. It's peanut butter jelly time, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm not breaking this pickaxe. I just wait and I saw it. No one does, Mew. Okay, I almost broke that one again. If I had broke two, I probably would have cried. I already have a really kick-ass little nether or ancient debris farm set up in the end or in the nether we have a nice big area i found i found 65 pieces of of debris in three hours it's not bad i'm pretty happy with it so we'd always go back and, and hit that up but i mean it's just i don't need to right now yeah dread so you see how i'm cutting the stone right now that's how I would cut netherrack. And I would just do this until I ran to the end of biome and saw lava that would just turn right and keep going again. Dude, I found I found 65 pieces in 3 hours. I did it on stream the other day. I think I think this little bit right here, this this kind of focus on this little four tile thing right here. It's probably the most effective way to mine in Minecraft. You stay focused right around the corner of the tile right there. I think I think this is the most fast. Because wherever you move your pickaxe, you're always hitting something. When if you're going like this, during the back swings and the forward swings, you're not hitting anything. So there's a lot more downtime in your back and forth. But if you're just focused like this on that little square and you're moving around, you're always going to hit something. And if you have it set up to where you can just smoothly turn, you just smoothly turn and keep going and you're always hitting. I've, I've completely obliterated entire zones like this. I think, I think this is great. It requires you to kind of hold position on your mouse a little bit. You don't have a lot of wiggle room, but I think it's great. And that's how I went through the, the nether and found all my stuff. I call this core drilling. Because we're just focused on like the core of the of the square and we're just going nuts. And we're causing a nice big hole. It's a nice big gap. A bow can fit into it. You can fit into it. Pickaxe go burr. Yep. That too. I discovered this when I was clearing out the massive hole for our auto sorting storage. I hopped out and started doing this, and I found that I was clearing areas much faster. And it's two blocks at a time.
and chat with making fun of me because they said that my head would start kind of bobbing with the pickaxe to kind of keep up with everything. And I guess I do. I feel it bob a little bit sometimes. It's kind of what you got to do. But there's like zero downtime with mining. It's crazy. Never noticed that? Yeah, people have noticed it and told me about it. So it gives you something visual to, to lock onto as well. I'm gonna go straight this way now. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Because now I just split this in half. I'm gonna go this way now. This is the outer edge of the circle over here. So it's not completely straight and flush. But if we can like take it out like this per se and kind of get it away from the edge at least it might be a little more tolerable and then we can just come over like this and just cut down the entire oh, oh we already hit that is there a reason why you're not saving the stone because i've already got 10 chests of stone 10 double chests i really don't want to have like 50 double chests of stone Actually, I think I might have 12 double chests of stone right now. So what I did earlier, Mew, was I went to the end and I got 24 more shulkers. My, my ender chest holds 27 shulkers now. And every trip we would take back to the storage, I would have 10 to 15 shulkers full of material. How you doing, Minecraft? Welcome in. And the only thing I'm keeping right now is is granite, diorite, andesite, and gravel. So I'm actually going to fly over there right now. Here's all my boxes, Mew. And this right here is, this is stone, 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 stone. Oh, wait, wait I got more. I've got five, 10, 15 Mew. And then I've got five more back here. It's a lot of stone, yeah. So that, that's why I don't need any more. <laughs> Cause I got, I got plenty. Just like I don't need dirt anymore either. I grabbed this dirt erroneously. I shouldn't have grabbed it. But I'm just grabbing like diorite, granite, andesite, things like that. Because we're, we're, I like having more of this. Like granite's almost full here. Let me get our second chest of granite. Andesite has a second chest going. Ore is just ore. We haven't started hitting the iron yet. We got a little bit of iron from going into a cave. Uh, gravel. Turn a mountain into a pile of chests. Yeah, we do, we've done that in two worlds now. And I'm not done. So diorite. Granite. Andesite. Ore. Gravel. The dirt has turned into another stack of five behind, but we, we, we took a lot of dirt out to um, fill in the water around the area. So we have some holes. So like these are gonna fill in these holes. Oops, I just did that wrong. So I just has dirt here ready to go. Gravel. That's all miscellaneous stuff. There's my tool. Boom, 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 boom. Chest, 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 chest. I'm keeping these two chests here. Uh, we'll go stuff there. This is wood chest here. All wood that we cut down, all the trees. I'd like to have more gravel, but we haven't got there yet. 
And there we go. Can he see our text here? No, I can't. Nope, can't read anything you're typing. I'm sorry. Look at there. It looks like a piece of pie. We're working it out. No problem, my friend. Oh, I completely cleaned my inventory out, didn't I? Crap. I don't have any bookends in here. So diorite. Uh, I want to do that. Gravel. I'll do that. Uh, stones only gonna be those two. Well, we're gonna pick some more up. But yeah, Minecraft. I I said hi to you when you first came in. I don't know if you had your volume down or not. But I appreciate you being here, bud. go back out here and get the get the edge kind of worked out in the circle there's a cave here you gotta be careful about iron ore coal ore we'll do that Well, most of the Minecraft people are going to be kind of new anyways. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay, I, I just grabbed some andesite. Let's get the andesite figured out here. Do andesite there, and then we get some more and we'll add it to it. Destroyed. Add some more andesite here. And then I would like to add another diorite. 